Hey guys, so right now we are in my kitchen. Those are pork patties. These are the pork patties in question. And my dad is trying to get the pickles open. Product placement. Obviously he used the wrong fork. Look at that delicate action to get the meat from the fork onto the bread. They don't want to come off, do they? Ow. You're running to the camera. Mmm. Yum. Focus. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how to make faux McRib sandwiches. The tasty things from McDonald's that only come out every so often. Usually around St. Patrick's Day. Of course. The added factor to this one, to these McRib sandwiches, is that they, actually, they have cheese in them. Well, the original McDonald's don't have any cheese at all. But they do have pickles, though. No, don't put the pickles. I do not recommend if you drop pickles on the counter to put them in your own sandwich because they could be contaminated. And that's how you know you can get salmonella and botulism and the plague, which is running rapid currently in Oregon. True story. Voila! The finished product. These are my faux McRib sandwiches, complete with pickles and ooh gobs of barbecue sauce. I hope your mouths are watering right now and you are so jealous of what you're looking at. Unless you're a vegetarian, then look away because, well no, this is meat and you don't want to look at it. Uh, here, here, here! Look at the pickle! Look, look at the pickle! That, that, that should make you vegetarians happy. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the taste test. Here it goes. Overall, this, um, this, uh, faux... The, this faux version of, Mc, uh, of, uh, Mc, of McRib sandwiches is uh, very good. Now, if you excuse me, I need to have some personal time with, with the food. Anybody have a napkin? Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I don't really have much to really put in this video. Uh, so, what you just saw with the McRib sandwiches is about all I really got to tell you guys. So, all I can say is that uh, more videos are going to be coming regularly. And uh, some surprises are on the way. And yeah, so stay tuned and uh, I will see you probably um, next week. All right, take care. Bye, guys. Signals of the Air will be back. But first, a word from our sponsor. Because we at Peterson's Retirement Home firmly believe senior citizens never outlive their usefulness. Yes, at Peterson's we do more than take care of the elderly. We recycle them. Welcome home, Grandpa. Peterson's, just like Grandma used to make.
Right now, we have breaking news to report. It seems that this woman right here, Miss One Allison Jeffrey, is currently wanted by New York police for the death of one Mr. Connor Dwyer. No other leads at this moment, but it is expected that she is responsible for said Mr. Dwyer's death, as spoons and ducks were found at the scene of his body. Currently, Miss Allison is not available for question as she has seemed to fled the country, and all Boyd Bolton is out for her arrest. Also, in a completely unrelated topic, reports are starting to come in of... What is that? Yes, reports are coming in that there are sights in the sky of what appears to be... I'm getting... Flying gummy bears, yes, flying gummy bears are apparently in the sky over most of the, what is that? There are report, re reporting sightings of gummy bears in the sky over most of the United States. We will keep you up to date on the latest events in the Connor Dwyer Allison Jeffries murder and these reported sightings of gummy bears over most of the United States. Stay tuned.